going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. Data up here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I am in a fantastic mood today. Um, I forgot to do something at work last night, so I actually had to go in today on my day off. And I'm glad I did, because it made me go outside, which I wouldn't have done prior to this recording otherwise. And oh my goodness, it's a beautiful day. I ended up, I ended up just driving around for no reason with the windows down, jamming out to music, and just, it's just such a nice day outside. I've got my window down for this recording, so if you hear any weird noises, um, I don't really care, because it feels so good in my room right now that it's worth it. Uh, but in this episode, I mentioned I wanted to start off by building a roller coaster, and I'm going to do just that. And as weird as it might sound, I'm going to build a steel roller coaster. I know we already have one in our park. But I was thinking to myself, when is the last time we built a steel roller coaster in a continuous circuit design? And honestly, I can't remember. I don't know if we've done that, period, like ever. I'm sure we have at some point, but it's been a long time. The last one I can remember is, oh geez, Leafy Lake, I believe. Um, I don't remember what we called it, but that's the last one I can remember doing. So it's been way too long. So we're going to do just that. Um, I'm building this backwards to start because I know how I need this to end. Uh, and that's that's it right there. That's how I want it to end. So I think this is kind of cool doing a station over a walkway. And my plan for this ride is to kind of take up this space right here and possibly possibly just this whole middle section. I think that could be kind of cool. I don't really think this section right here is conducive to just one ride by itself. I could change my mind once I purchase out some of this land because again we can buy a lot of this section here but we don't have that currently so that is not something we have the ability to work with so we're not going to. Um, how many station platforms is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do nine, just because I don't want to change the land. And that's perfect. Okay, so let's take this up. This is going to run right into this, isn't it? It is. Uh, how can we get away or get... If we do an S-bend, that's not going to solve anything, is it? No, not at all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is probably going to be the last... Not the last... Ep well, yeah, I guess the last episode in this section of our park or not the last what am i trying to say starting next episode we're gonna start buying some land Ooh, i can go do i like how that looks i don't know i don't think i do but at the same time it kind of looks sweet <laughs> and if we wrap around that that could look kind of cool yeah that's happening that's cool looking Okay, but yeah, starting next episode, we are going to begin building or expanding our park. And as of right now, my plan is to begin building the Oasis, which again is going to be the highlight of this park. I don't think that's going to work. Going from 24 to 24. So we won't do that. We'll go from 24 to 20. Perfect. And then let's do, if we can go through this, which we totally can, if I do it right. Um, can I get through that way? No, I think I've got to back this off by one. Oh, we're too high. Okay. That's fine. That's an easy fix. We'll drop down through the loop here. And then, ooh. This is going to be too high if we do a loop here. I think this is going to be... Yeah, height-wise, that's probably higher than 24, so there's no way that's working. I'm thinking, is it even possible to do a loop through a loop? I don't think it is. It might be, but I, I don't know, so we're not going to try it right now. Okay, so we've got a good amount of money here. I don't want to spend all of it, so I'm not going to do too many helices. And of course, I'm saying that as I do helices, 
but we're not going to do too many of them just because that is one of the most expensive track pieces in the game. And I don't really want to spend all of our money on this ride. A good portion of it, yes, but if we spend all of it, then we're right back where we started with no money and mo problems. Let's try to avoid that, if at all possible. Um, ooh, I'd like to do a steep one there. Oh, and I can. Perfect. That actually works out beautifully. That puts us at nine. This isn't going to work if we do a loop right here. Because that puts us... Yeah. Oh, that would be so cool. Hold on. What if we do... Instead of doing that, if we do this. I don't know how this lines up differently. It definitely lines up better, that's for sure. We'll do a loop to the right. And then we'll go up for a little bit. And this should clear all this, no problem. There we go. Let's do a smaller one there, 16. That could be intense. I'm not sure how much speed we'll have at this point. Probably a good amount. Uh, but if you can see what I'm trying to do right here, it's go back through the loop. Because that is one thing I absolutely love doing. And it adds so much to the excitement ratings. I think. At least I would hope it would. Ooh, that's cool. If it'll work. Which it will. Perfect. And we can actually go do a helix up here. No, that's going to run right into this ride. Helix up large. Nope, not down large. Up large. No, not down small. Up large. There we go. And luckily, I can buy this land. So that's not an issue. And hopefully that should clear all of this. That puts us at 18. So we just go up one more to 19. And then we will drop it back down over top this and I think that fills out this area quite nicely and let's loop it back around and take up a little bit of this space now because that is my intention okay so we dropped where are we at momentum wise so we started at 24 to 20 to 20 again to 17 up to 19 so we should still have some speed here so let's actually add Oh, I'm already out of money? Oh, gosh. I was not paying attention. Um, And yeah, we already maxed out our loan, didn't we? We did. Okay, this might end sooner than I anticipated. <laughs> Luckily, it's getting cheaper as we build down here. <laughs> I guess that's the silver lining. Uh, let's loop to the left. And wait for a second, because we need $515 to build this. Oh boy. Okay, um, to kill the time, I shall... I don't know, it's not really a story. But last night, uh, I had work, and I had a 14-hour shift. Very long day. One of the longer ones we ever work. And it was exhausting. But I made some friends while at work, and it made the night go by way faster. Uh, I was actually... I hung out with... We had a wedding last night. It was a ceremony and reception, which is always fun. They're all different, which I kind of like. It's always a wedding, and they're all somewhat similar in one way or another. But there's always things that makes them stand out from each other. And last night, the it was a little bit chaotic at times so I made sure it's kind of my job I don't have to do it as much as I do but I do um, I always try to you know kind of make my rounds and make sure everyone's oh it just mm, dang it okay more time for the story I always try to make my rounds and make sure that everyone has what they need to do their jobs whether that be the caterers the bartenders the DJ the photographer the florist you name it you know we're the as the venue Again, I work in events and hospitality as the venue. It's kind of our responsibility to, we're the glue, to make sure things stick together and work. And so I ended up checking on the uh, the bartenders and the DJ quite a bit. 
And at the end of the night, they were just so incredibly appreciative. Uh, it's not something... It's I work sort of a thankless job. I don't expect to get thanked for what I do. Uh, but when I do, it's it's nice. I <laughs> I appreciate it. And they were just extremely complimentary and oh man, it, it made the night so much more worthwhile in the end, just knowing that all the all the work I put in was appreciated. And it's always nice to know you're appreciated. I don't need to be told thank you to know I did a good job. Uh, as long as I... Oh, that's so expensive. That's even more expensive. Oh, it's so expensive, guys. <laughs> um, can we do a Helix down here? If we do two of these, it puts us at eight, but then that's going to run us right into this. Uh, we'll do that here in a second. Um, we'll do it right here, actually. He looks down small. And this is going to take a little bit. But yeah, I don't need to be told thank you to know that I did a good job. But again, it's nice to hear. And they were just so appreciative and so nice. And I actually exchanged numbers with both the bartenders. And we're going to hang out at some point. Like, it was cool. That I've worked there for almost two years now. And that has never happened. So it was a nice change. But this ride is coming out kind of nice. I think it's... It's cool. It fills out all the areas of this park that I was wanting it to. This area is a little barren, uh, but that might give us room to kind of put some some stuff in and kind of make this a decorative area as opposed to putting a ride there. But we are actually making money pretty quick. So once I'm done building this, we should be pretty good on money for a little while. Uh, or at least we should be making it back fairly quickly. And let's actually add some brakes in right here. I don't know what speed we're going to be at. But let's try 27 and we'll drop it down to, I don't know, 19 maybe. 22 or 18, whatever it allows us to do. We'll actually do one more down to 13. Because then this, I believe, drops it to 9 right there. So we don't need to drop it twice. But we'll go down to 13 miles an hour. And then this should work out pretty nice. Ooh, actually, it'll work out perfect. If I do two of these pieces, it'll connect up right there. Or at least it should. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. Now I just need to wait for about 80 more dollars. And ride is complete. <laughs> perfect. I hope this works out well. I really do. Okay, so for the entrance and exit, um, I'd like to do... I had kind of a vision in mind for where I wanted my walkways to go, but it's kind of not working out how I had planned. So we're going to do something different, and that is okay. It's always okay to change your plan halfway through. Nothing needs to be set in stone. Being flexible, in this game at least, is usually for the best. A lot of times I have something planned, and I start building it, and as I build it, I come up with something different that ends up working even better. Flexibility is a good thing. Alright, let's try to build this quickly while we have the money before we have to pay our staff. And our rides and all that stuff. Um, do I want to make this even longer? I kind of do and I kind of don't. I kind of don't. Okay, so this is the exit from the Pharaoh, which I need to correctly spell. I did not spell that correctly. It's A-O-H, not O-H, or O-A-H. A-O-H, the Pharaoh, there we go. I spelt it in the episode title correctly, but not in the ride itself. Okay, so Roller Coaster 1. Um, I want to make this kind of gold and brown and tan. And it, bear with me. It's going to look cooler than that sounds. That sounds kind of lame. Uh, but if we do gold track there, we can do a brown edge or a trim there, and then possibly a tan support. 
Maybe a different color. I'm not crazy about that. Do a dark brown there. That kind of looks nice. Because gold is just going to be too bright. I actually think I like that other brown better. Yeah. That's our paint job, guys. I like it. And the reason for that is we're going to name this one the Scarab. That is another name that wasn't on my list, but when I came up with it, or when it popped into my head, it just an immediate, yes, that is happening. We are naming a ride the Scarab, and I think this is a perfect ride to do so with. And that's why the paint job is what it is. And so we only have two trains which I am okay with. Let's see what it takes to get it to three to see if it'll be worthwhile. It's looking like it won't be worthwhile. <laughs> we will stick with eight cars per train. And we'll paint one of these. We're going to do different colors per train. One's going to be gold and brown. And the other's going to be brown and gold. Not super crazy. So this will be brown and this will be gold. Perfect. Let's see how that looks on the track. Fantastic, as I thought it would. <laughs> and before I forget, let us go ahead and grab... Where's our closest mechanic? Probably the one who's taking care of the Pyramidian. Is that Ferris Butler? Ferris Butler? Ferris Bueller? Oops. Yeah, we'll have him cover this. I would honestly like to hire... Does that cover that? Yeah, it does. I would like to hire more staff to cover some of this park, but again, we just, we're not in the financial situation to do so currently. And let me grab Handyman 3 right here. And it looks like he's already set to cover all this. I don't think that tile's necessary, but I'm checking it anyway, just to be safe. But okay, enough talk. Let's go ahead and see how the Scarab performs. Right, guys I think that it actually came out pretty well it was going a little slow right here and I wasn't a fan of that at first until it went over this crest and started coming down it kind of simulated a second big drop even though it's not a steep drop it kind of made it more climactic than I was originally anticipating it being so that works out pretty nicely let's see how the stats are on it though because that's gonna kind of make all the difference hopefully it's exciting if it's not that's not the biggest deal in the world, because again, the space that we didn't use can be decorated, which will even make the excited excitement rating go up even higher. But we don't have to worry about that, because that is a 726 excitement rating. This is the ride we needed in this park. This is going to make us so much more money now. 720, perfect. It's a very high intensity rating. That's okay, though. A lot of people will still ride this and only a medium nausea rating, which is perfect. Uh, one thing I think would make this better, and it's not a huge thing, but I actually think this part right here adds intensity. Going over a banked turn at a high speed works well because centripetal force pushes you into your seat so you still feel like you're sitting or like you're being forced into your seat, just like 
normal gravity. But right here, they're going so slow, gravity is pulling them sideways. So they're like falling to the side. I don't know if you guys can imagine that, but it wouldn't be extremely comfortable, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and check leave if another train arrives, at least for the beginning here. Because I want to make sure we're making as much money as we can in as fast in as fast of a manner as possible. There we go. Okay, the scarab is good to go. Let's add a little bit of decor. Nothing too nuts. Because the land is really not conducive for a bunch of flat items because so much of this is sloped so let's just kind of scatter some some of these around here what did we have 726 i think is what we started with so let's take a look at this after the fact and we also need to go back through and adjust our price on anubis because that's probably going to be adjusted upwards as well as far as excitement goes um can we do let's do two of these right here that looks like a good spot for those and we'll just add a few more of these around the area. No rhyme or reason. And I think this is fine. There's too many supports here for me to really warrant putting decor there. I could, but I don't think I'm going to. Because the supports kind of fill out the ground. This area, however, was wide open. And so I thought it needed a little bit of, little bit of love. Okay. How did that change it? It upped it by 0.07, I think. So we can charge 10 cents more for that. And then on Anubis, it's now 590. Oh my goodness, that upped it. Ooh, that's nice. A 0.6 increase. That's wonderful. I had the option to make this go backwards, but I think that would make the intensity go through the roof. I think a facing backwards design is probably only good for um, for the application we used it in. A kind of shuttle loop design or a reverse incline launch mode design. Anything like that I think is conducive for a backwards facing train. But on something like this, oh my goodness, it would just send the intensity rating through the roof. Why is no one riding the crypt? Or not riding the crypt? Well, because it's broken, now that is a reason, but... All right, let's add... We're in June here. But look at this. Since we built that, we added some decor, and we already have five grand. I am getting excited for next episode. I think we're going to have the funds. It might take a little bit of time, but... Unlike building a roller coaster, which is like six, well, no, not, it was like $60 per individual track piece, roughly, and then like four to 600 for a big track piece, like 200 for a regular curve. Scenery only costs $8, $12, $20. It's much cheaper. Modifying the land only takes 20. Purchasing the land only takes 15. It's just going to be a much cheaper endeavor to purchase all this and start working on the highlight of Atlantic Oasis, which obviously is the Oasis, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> but I wanna build one more smaller thing, and we're gonna build the last of our thrill rides. I know we got plenty of thrill rides in last episode, but this is our last one, so we won't have any more of these. And we're, I'm thinking of doing it right right where it's placed right now, but I want to make sure there's nowhere else I would rather place it first. It is going to make it part of Duat, and I don't know if I want it to be part of Duat. I don't know if it warrants being in Duat. It's not scary. It's not deadly. Although I think one of the... Well, no, that doesn't... It's not Duat specific. I think one of the movies is something like Tomb Raiding-ish. Let's actually do it right here. This looks like a fine spot. We'll do it right up against the hill there with the entrance. Mm, I originally was gonna say with the entrance on the side with it going this way, but this area looks like a perfect spot to extend our park in this direction because we have all this land that we can purchase. 
and I'm hoping we will have the time to do so. Uh, so this is one, nope. Oh, uh, no, no, not that, not that. Okay, so the entrance, I'm actually gonna swap these. There we go, because the entrance, like I always like to do, needs to be long enough to hold, what is it, 20 people for this? I think it's 20. 20 guests in the cinema building. And then, okay, I stand corrected. Mouse tails, storm chasers, or space raiders. Uh, we did storm chasers in Mel's world, I think it was. Space raiders, just replace space with tomb raiders, and we got a great movie, so we'll do space raiders. And let's go ahead and open 3D Cinema 1 just so we can start making some money right away. And the paint job looks pretty pretty sweet. I think I'm going to change it though to kind of this golden brown combo. Oh, that's bright. That looks cool though. Oh, yes, it's like a golden orb. Oh, I like it. I'm just coming up with this as we go. Golden sphere of uh, what would be it? Like a, a relic, like a, you go tomb raiding and you find some sort of ancient relic that you've been looking for. What would it be? Golden Sphere of Immortality. <laughs> I don't know. That's cool, though. At least I think so. Golden Sphere of Immortality has a 420 excitement rating, so we will charge just that, 420. Oh, that's cool looking. I, I don't know why I'm so excited about a 3D sphere, but that just looks so cool. Can we do a different brown? Would that look any better? Does that look better? I think I like this better. We'll stick with what we had originally. That is nice. And that leaves us the space to extend our walkway on this tile right here. Let me actually place some of that path down. I'm not going to connect it yet, but I'll just place it so I don't accidentally decorate over that or make it to where I can't build something there because that looks like a perfect place for something. And let's do one of these little Egyptian statues, or a statue of an Egyptian, right there, just to fill out that uh, that three by one space there. And okay, I think that is gonna do it for this episode. We already have seven grand, and I sort of tested this off camera. Uh, I didn't, I never save any of the stuff I do off camera, uh, but I tested this off camera, and it only took me about four or five grand to purchase basically from here all the way down to here let me go to this view basically i bought from here to the edge here all the way to the back so that is basically where we were going to do our oasis so i'm thinking next episode if everything goes according to plan we will finally have our oasis in Atlantic Oasis. So our park will actually not be a lie. It will be an accurate representation of what this park contains. But I hope you guys are looking forward to that episode because I know I am. It'll be my biggest kind of custom terraforming project I have done ever in this game. The most I've ever done was making that little beach area on uh, Trinity Islands, I believe it was. And that was nothing compared to this. This is going to be something epic. And I might make a custom river as well, which could be really cool. I played around with that a little bit, and I think I have a design that will work very well. So I hope you guys are excited because I know I am very excited. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you're excited for the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then... As always, take care.